So Monday morning, I woke up to the news that I'm being let go from my position at Vice Magazine. And this comes after years of dedicating my life to writing articles like A Woman's Guide to Tucking in Your Dick. Yes, there are trans animals. Why some men choose to remove their penis. The Kim Oji app doesn't work for Grindr. And a modest take on why men terrorize women with poop. And then I find out via email that I'm being let go because my articles aren't generating revenue. Hi, New York Times, Mark Diamond here. Just calling to see if you got a chance to check out my resume. I have thousands of articles that are never gonna see the light of day. Yes, no, I know you told me to stop calling, but I had an idea for a new article about canceling the Easter Bunny. Articles like 10 dildos are better than one and your boyfriend's racist if he won't sit on them. Lesbians should become trans men because most of them don't even have to change anything. My boomer dad isn't even gay. You know, journalism is supposed to be about normalizing weird shit, removing people's accountability, and most importantly, importantly, writing the same article over and over again. Why this 27-year-old barista is drinking piss to combat Islamophobia. I had plans to write an article about how women are better at football, women are better at fathering, and women have nicer hogs than men. Fight the patriarchy by having sex with an entire bar staff and then crying about it. Hey, Wall Street Journal, just following up on my freelance piece I submitted titled Blowing Dudes Makes You Better at Trading. There's no such thing as gender unless we're talking about something women are better at. No, 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 don't hang up, don't hang up. I have another one too. The trading floor needs to accept that pedophilia is not a choice. You know, we had 2,000 people writing articles like this and now it's down to 1,750 tops. It's not enough. I guess the world doesn't think it needs journalism anymore. I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna do without my $12,000 a year base salary. You know who was concerned about money? Himmler.